Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was Christ. Christos Anesti. Welcome to our divine liturgy for Pascha, Easter. We've just completed our Mass and service. I thank those of you who were with it. Hopefully you got the spirit. Keep that spirit going because Christ is risen. We will begin now the divine liturgy. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee from before his face. Today the sacred past is revealed to us, holy and new past, the mystical Passover, the venerable Passover, the past which is Christ the Redeemer, spotless past, great past, the past of the faithful, the past which is the key to the gates of paradise, the past of which sanctifies all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before a fire. O oh, women, be the heralds of good news, and tell what you saw. Tell of the vision and say to Zion, accept the good news of joy from us, the news that Christ has risen. Exalt and celebrate and rejoice, O Jerusalem. See Christ the King coming forth from the tomb like a bride. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God, but let the righteous ones rejoice. The murmuring women, the righteous before the dawn, at the tomb of the giver of life, and found an angel seated on the stone, who spoke these words to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you mourn the incorruptible among those subjects to decay? Go announce the good news to his disciples. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us exult and rejoice in it. Pasch so delightful, Pasch of the Lord is the past. Most honor has now dawned on us. It is the past. Therefore, let us joyfully embrace one another. O Passover, save us from sorrow. For today Christ has shone forth from the tomb, as from a bridal chamber, and filled the women with joy by saying, Announce the good news to the apostles. The Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. This is the resurrection day. Let us be enlightened by this feast and let us embrace one another. Let us call brethren, even those who hate us, and in the Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Stores those treasures, smerti, smerti, And to those in the tombs, he granted life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
God, mighty beyond description, glorious above understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression. Look with compassion us on this holy church, O Master, and show us, and those who pray with us, the riches of your tender mercy. For to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is to all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Shine upon us and have mercy on us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Sing us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now. So let them vanish as wax melts before a fire. As those clothes can say, is meti, meti us metopra, is the jimbo hagrovi, jimbo tahagrova. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God, but let the righteous ones rejoice. Christ is risen from the dead. I am and to those in the tombs he granted life. In the churches, bless God from Israel's well springs, bless the Lord. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Although you descended into the grave, O immortal one, you destroyed Hades' power. You arose as a victor of Christ God. You exclaimed to the murmuring women, rejoice. For you are holy, our God, we render glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever. And forever. Amen. All you who have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with
Peace be to all. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad. of the Holy Apostles. In my first account, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up to heaven, having first instructed the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit. In the time after his suffering, he showed them in many convincing ways that he was alive, appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking to them about the reign of God. On one occasion when he met with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem, wait Rather, for the fulfillment of my Father's promise, of which you have heard me speak. John baptized with water, but within a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. While they were with him, they asked, Lord, are you going to restore the rule to Israel now? His answer was, The exact time it is not yours to know. The Father has reserved that to himself. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes down on you. Then you are to be my witness in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, yes, even to the ends of the earth. No sooner had he said this than he was lifted up before their eyes in a cloud which took him from their sight. Peace be to readers. May God, through the praise of the holy, glorious, illustrious, apostle of Angus John, grant that you proclaim the word with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to a reading from the holy gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. John. Glory to you. It is the tradition during the Paschal Liturgy in the Byzantine Church to read the Gospel in several languages. This is symbolic of the news of the resurrection going to all the world. Today we will read the Gospel from St. John's Gospel in English and in the Church Slavonic, which is the mother tongue of this Byzantine Catholic Ruthenian Church. Let us be attentive. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was made nothing that has been made. Se biyoskoni uboha siatim bishai bezneho dektoja ne bist yeja bist. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness grasped it not. Vutom jibot mi i jibot mi svit chalavikom i svit vot mi. Svitisya ithma yehone obyat. There was a man once sent from God whose name was John. This man came as a witness to bear witness concerning the light that all might believe through him. This chalavik poslan at boha imya yamu yohan se bridebo svidestvo ida svidestvo yet o sviti da sviru he was not himself the light, but was to bear witness to the light. It was the true light that enlightened every man who comes into the world. The beat hoi svit no da svit deltas fuyat, o sviti bi svit ishtini ije prasvishaya, syako ho chalimika radushaha vimir. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, he gave the power of becoming sons of God, to those who believe in His name. Bo svoja pride i svoja jahone prijašća, jer it says ja prijašća jahodade im oblast, šaldom Božim biti, pejujuštim vi imja jaho. Who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. I že ne od krov, ni od pokoti, plotskaja i ni od pokoti, Mujeskia na od Boha uradisyasya. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw his glory, glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and of truth. I slobo plod bist i vselisya ini, i vdikom slabo jeho, slabo jako jedinorodnoho otca, i spon blahodati istini. John bore witness concerning him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who is to come after me has been set above me, because he was before me. Johannes Fidel tells Svinuet Onem, I was va la hola se bi, Jehoja rik ije po mi radi, Predo moju bist jako previa mene bi. And of his fullness, we have all received grace for grace. I ot is onenia Yahomi si priakom i blahodat vos blahodat. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Yako zakon moyesayom dan bis blahodat je i istena Jesus Christom bis. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Better. Christos was grass. Christos was grass. Christos and Esti. Regardless of whether you're an agnostic, an atheist, a Jew, a Hindu, a Buddhist, whatever you are, this week especially, God has shown himself to the world. Oh, yes.
and has shown himself in the person of Jesus Christ who was put in the world once again as he did 2,000 years ago in the middle of the earth for all the world to see and know about and experience is the mystery of his cross. Yes, this pandemic, this is the presence of Christ and his cross for all the world to see. Many people want proof. I'm an atheist. I want proof that God exists. What kind of proof do you want? Is this not proof enough? But his cross is not just misery and death and sickness. Oh yes, it represents all that is bad, all that has come from sin. But because Christ, who is God, mounted that cross, these things now become a cleansing agent. The cross now becomes a choice for us between life and death. The cross is the avenue to life. The cross gives us the vision of life that we must always in every moment choose life or choose death. This is what we're faced with now. We have been set back, set back from everything. Everything's been taken from us, hasn't it? Life isn't the same. Life has been changed. All we can do now is think, take consideration of what is essential, what is truly essential, to look at what is essential, to choose what is essential. Yes, God has timed this whole pandemic. By that I mean he's allowed it. Maybe he did send it. He can do whatever he wants. He's God. He's done it in the Old Testament. He sent direct plagues and punishments. Did he send this one? I don't know. But he certainly has allowed it. Why? For our purification. To put the brakes on where we were headed as a world. To make us think and to reveal himself as the true God, as Jesus Christ, because there's his cross right in the middle. We're experiencing it, aren't we? Doesn't matter what you believe or don't believe. We're in this together, aren't we? The whole world, not just this country, that person, that family, me, him, all of us together, just as it was 2,000 years ago. The timing is incredible. It cannot be ignored. Here, when most of the world, certainly the Christian world, most of the Christian world, celebrated those last days of Jesus Christ, his betrayal, suffering, death, the mystery of his cross, as we did, that is precisely when the pandemic peaked. We were warned by our president, this would be the hardest, most painful week. Now we have the statistics. America has more deaths, more people sick than any country in the world. The timing by God is incredible. Cannot be ignored. And yet, I rather suspect that what's really behind this timing is that through all the hoarding of toilet paper and food, through all the anxiety, the despair, the fear, the sickness, the death, through all the statistics now that are so frightening, so depressing, through all of our lack of control, our lack of a cure. For all of that, through all of that, I suspect that the real reason for the timing of this that God has allowed is that through that, through that, precisely through all that, we could come to this moment and say, Christ is risen. That that is the last word on even this horror in this suffering, just as it was 2,000 years ago when he mounted that cross, was put in the grave, but rose again as the last and final word. That, I believe, is what all this timing is about. That right in the peak of it, the worst part of it, the worst statistics, the most depressing, right then is when we are saying, and can we say, Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. Christos anesti.
loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Metropolitan William of God of English in Milan, the entire priestly, the acono monastic orders, the noble, never memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church, our civil authorities, all in the service of our country, and all victims living and deceased of the pandemic, and all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. That we sacrifice of praise and those who call upon you with their whole heart accept also prayer of us sinners bring us to holy altar enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins for the people's failings make us worthy to find favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us all these gifts here present all your people grant this to the mercy of only begotten son with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever peace be to all and to your spirit the father and the son and the holy spirit the trinity one in essence and the divine the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and 
was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Christ, the love of God and Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper just to sing you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place of your dominion. Be you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing undone and you brought us through heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For although we know that we do not know for the manifest and the hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six me many eyes, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna. Powers, a loving and kind master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy you and all holy and magnificent is your glory, you so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. The night he was betrayed, or rather, he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took bread and was holy, all pure immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. And then they give for this saving command, all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second coming in glory, offering your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you. sacrifice and we implore, pray, and entreat you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. That which is in this chow is the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. That for those who partake of them, they bring about a spirit of vigilance, a remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation, moreover. 
We offer you the spiritual sacrifice of those who part of the faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics. For every just spirit brought to perfection and faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The angel explained to her, full of grace, rejoice, O pure virgin. And again I say, rejoice, your Son is risen from the grave. the first of Lord, remember Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and most Reverend Metropolitan William of God, living Bishop Milan, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, save John in hell for many years, as a faithful and part the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we dwell, in this parish, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea or in land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bring offerings, perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. Put all of us send down your mercies. Grant it with one voice and one heart. May glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. you make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries and the sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Mass, that we may with confidence, without condemnation, dare call you Father God of heaven and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. By your measurable power of fashion, all things. Greatness of your mercy, you brought all things that have non existent into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but who the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the good of all, the path that lies ahead and coin to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick or physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed. Together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Jubilee partakes the precious, most holy body of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the mission of his sins and for life everlasting. Amen. The precious, most holy body of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given to me, Priest Thomas, in the mission of my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I believe, believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God. For I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Receive the body.
Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, of our souls to love us all that this day made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints make straight our path confirm us all in fear of your guard our life safeguard our steps for you are our sanctification we give glory to you Father, Son and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever Amen Let us go forth in peace In the name of the Lord Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, today the resurrection of our Lord brings light and salvation to us, and the church of the Lord is filled with people. See how many have chosen faithful him, not only endured with joy the weariness of fasting, but with lighted candles are also eager to offer gifts to the King of Ages on the feast of the resurrection. The whole world rejoices today in the resurrection of Christ. Heaven is purified by the brightness of the Godhead. The earth is clothed, the sea is calm, tyranny is stopped, reverence grows, catechumens are enlightened, peace is made with enemies, wanderers have returned, sinners are forgiven, churches are joyful, and Christ God is glorified. Not only do we carry candles offering gifts to the King of Ages, not only are the metals and flower, but the newly baptized receive the grace of the Spirit. Since you're a good God and love mankind, we see the sacrifice and worship of our humble priest and forgive the sins of both the young and the old. Give strength to the civil authorities. Grant long life to our bishop. Preserve all the clergy and people in oneness of mind. Through the prayers of your pure mother, of the holy apostles, of the myrrh-bearing women, protect, save, and mercy. Preserve all the people here present in the joint of your divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. We are the resurrection from death, O Christ our God. We give glory to, together with the eternal Father, you're all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death. And to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our true God, risen from the dead, by death trampling death and granting life to those in the tombs, have mercy on us and save us. The prayers of His Most Pure Mother, of the Holy Father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. have the ceremony of the blessing of the Paschal Foods. Right. 
Father, give the blessing. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Almighty Father, eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who came down from heaven, giving life and salvation to the world, bless this bread of your holy and spiritual blessing, so that it may be for all who will eat of it, for the salvation of soul, the health of body, and the protection against every illness and hostile attack. For your merciful and gracious God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christ our God, look down upon these meat products and bless them as you sanctify the ram which the faithful Abraham offered to you and the lamb which Abel presented to you as a holocaust and as you also sanctify the fat and calf which you ordered to be slain for the prodigal who returned to you as he was considered worthy to partake of your goodness. May we also enjoy these meats which you blessed and sanctify for the benefit of all of us. We are the true nourishment and giver of good things, and we give glory to you together to your eternal Father, your most holy, gracious, life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord and mercy. Lord, Lord and Master, Creator, maker of all things, bless this cheese and butter, together with them the eggs and all other foods here present. Keep this in your goodness so that as we partake of them, we may be filled with your generous gifts, indescribable goodness. We are the supreme ruler, and yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The head of a household at this point, if you have holy water, you can now sprinkle your holy foods as I do these. These foods are blessed and sanctified by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Shine in splendor unto Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. O Zion, now dance and be glad, and you Christ got our whole glory to you. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead by death, trampling death, and granting life to those in the tombs. Have mercy on us and save us the prayers of his most fair mother. And of all the holy, glorious, illustrious apostles, the prayers of all the saints for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. I want to thank all of you from wherever you are around the world, especially our Pershers of Annunciation for having faithfully tuned in to our services this Holy Week and now this great day of Pascha. I thank you for your many, many kind and appreciative comments. We really, really appreciate that. I want to thank everyone, the few people who were able to brave it and come here to our church and prepare for this, these services and to prepare the church. I want to thank our camera ladies, Catherine Branco and Katie Goulis for bringing you this live streaming. We'll continue to do so. We'll have liturgy on Bright Monday and Bright Tuesday. That's what we call Monday and Tuesday after Easter. We call it Monday and Tuesday is Bright Monday, Bright Tuesday. We'll have liturgy at 9 a.m. 
liturgy at 9 a.m. Central Time. Then on Thursday, we will have liturgy at 7 p.m. We normally do that here anyway at Annunciation Church. Again, this will all be live streamed 9 a.m. Monday and Tuesday. That's bright Monday and Tuesday. And 7 p.m. Thursday night. Again, this is Central Time. Above all, I want to thank Deacon Tim. And most especially, it should be quite obvious to you if you've been, you've been tuning in all week, our cantors. Where would we be without them? I want to thank them for their incredible courage and zeal, giving of their gifts, their dedication. They're re it's so reliable. We, if you notice, we kept a complete schedule here. We did not skip a beat here at Annunciation Church. Praise God. And that is largely due in part, largely due really to our cantors, to our deacon, to our camera ladies. So again, I can't thank them enough. And now, now this time, let me hear it from the children. Christ is risen. Indeed, he, he is, is risen. risen. The children, Christ is risen. It's... Oh, sorry, social distancing. Social distancing. Christ is risen. Christos is Christ. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christos was crescé is metri, smerti is metopra, Jesus gemorodi, Smerti, 